Can't wait to see you there. All right, good stuff. All right, now, gentlemen. Okay, well, the rest of you suckers. I got to check out Hugh Jackman. Our boy Hugh Jackman. Done so well to hide his Australian accent. Hugh Jackman. (laughs) (laughs) How'd he do? The man most recognizable from Swordfish, Hugh Jackman. No, sorry, that was a terrible movie. But Hugh Jackman (laughs) in Logan. Uh, This is supposedly the final installment of the Wolverine uh, story in the MCU. I don't think so. I think they, this might be the the final proper one, but Marvel probably came to this dude on the side, drove a dump truck full of money to his side, to to his house and said, Hey, how about one more? Just wear the claws for old time's sake. It's like, I don't know. And it's like, we'll buy you an Island. Okay. (laughs) Um, But no, the story of Logan, um, which I want to throw up right now. No spoilers, but just letting people know, because I went in with the expectation that this was the story of Old Man Logan, the uh, comic mini series that um ran in 2015. It's honestly been running for decades, but was properly laid out in 2015. And um, I wasn't necessarily disappointed, but I was taken aback because I went in expecting one specific thing. I went expecting Logan, old man Logan, the story I know well, yep, this yep. good tale, this raw, gritty tale. And that's what uh, that's what the previews were telling me that it was going to be like. I mean, it was really mm-hmm. building that up that this is going to be old man Logan. Yeah, very this misleading. Is what I'm now, di- mm-hmm. Directly misleading, though. Like, they knew what the hell they were doing. There wasn't like, <laughs> there, there was no, like, oh, it's just coincidence and happens. And now, nah, please, they knew exactly. They were sucking people in, man. Yeah, like, okay, perfect mm-hmm. example. Um, old man Logan takes place in an apocalyptic future, like yep. just in future. Um, Logan, you know, just Mexico. <gasps> Old yeah. man Mexico, or it's, 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 it's Mexico, yo, bro. <laughs> you know, you know how horrible that sounds. I'm saying it's supposed to be a po- apocalyptic. But now we just went to Tijuana. <laughs> they, yo, we, went, we went to poor section Tijuana, brother. For real, what? you know what? Yo, that got me too. That's that got horrible. that got me too. They went a little bit, a little bit off the off the main highways and like the desert area. That's they fought, so fought bad. Down water tower, like bam, old man Logan. Like you for real? It's like man, he's living it rough. Like no, that's somebody's life. Mm-hmm. Like when they leave, that's somebody's <laughs> life. Yeah, but you know what? You can look, you can look past all that because the movie itself does present a very compelling story. Uh, old uh, old man Logan, the comic book is like very intricate and very involved in the mm-hmm. Marvel universe. But mm-hmm. also, I could imagine. Even though it's a movie, it's a Hugh Jackman Marvel movie. They have they probably have all the money in the world. There are still budgetary concern, uh, constraints that they probably have to um, probably have to consider because this is not the Avengers. You know, this is still a standalone movie centered around one character. Technically, four characters, maybe a few more if you want to consider everybody. But this is not, like I said, the Avengers. This is not a an X Men team movie. This is just one character. It's focusing on Logan himself. And the introduction of X twenty three. This was in the uh, in the uh, in the commercials and the trailers. So there's no again no spoilers. I'm really trying hard to tiptoe around that because it's a story that I was I thought I was familiar with going in, and they gave me something completely different that had similar elements. You know, so um, I will I guess I'll talk about the similarities because these are things that really stood out in the story that they could present something that we thought we knew from a different tale, and even though we may have felt slighted by it not being what we were expected, uh, we were still like. I was still entertained. I'm gonna come out and say right now, this was a really good movie. Um, mm-hmm. This was they 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 played it like a western. You know, it's not an action movie. It's a movie where there's a hero, there's villains, and there's a quest. You know, um, mm-hmm. I guess it's it's more of a uh, it's more of a road movie. Mm-hmm. You know, it's a it's a road movie slash western. Right down to wild horses at one point. <laughs> yeah, so it's 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 it's, 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 it's interesting to see the way they set this slightly in the future. It play, takes place in 2029. Mm-hmm. Right now we do this review in 2017, so it's like they have slight advances uh, advances in technology, not mm-hmm. you know astronomical stuff. We're not like oh, I'm going to space for lunch, you know, <laughs> but <laughs> but different things that we could logically see. Yeah, you know, if they keep going the way it's going, that that actually psh, that that's probably coming out in a couple of years. Yeah, and then yeah. 2029, we'll be like, why don't we have the things that are in Logan? Exactly, like, they're gonna look back and get disappointed, like, mm-hmm. like the hoverboard thing. That's what I'm saying. Future. I was thinking like we're gonna DeLoreans yeah. now, but all right, hey. <laughs> Hey, we have hoverboards. They're breaking my. They're breaking on Mike Tyson's back. They're combusting, right? My back. <laughs> my back. What? Spinal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but no, I'm keeping keeping some. I, I, I don't want to harp too much on this because I hate not being able to give a spoiler-free review without like someone to give it back and forth to. Because then it's just like me trying to give details without giving details. But mm-hmm. this is the story of Logan and the story of X-23. So anyone who's not familiar with X-23 in the comics, X-23 is Logan's do- is Wolverine's daughter. Wolverine has two kid. Well, has two primarily <laughs> primarily acknowledged kid <laughs> characters in the Marvel universe. He has He's, two legitimate kids. Yes. And God knows how many illegitimate. Seriously, the droves. 
Um, <laughs> but there's two kids. There's his son, Dokken, who's like, you know, this evil, bad so-and-so, and his daughter, X-23. X-23 in the movie is not the exact um, person. What's up? What's up, Herb? You got input. I- I think he, I think she's still a clone in the the comics. She's a clone. I thought she was uh, biological. Nope. Ooh, they got me. All right. Oh, mm. Well, X twenty three is still Wolverine's daughter and acknowledged daughter. In the movie, she is part of a program, and that's all I'll say about that. But it's a road movie where uh, Charles Xavier and Caliban are the only other mutants we really see. Oh no way. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, very toned down, and the reason mutants are no longer prominent is very different. In this, in the movie, is very different from the reason uh, mutants are no longer prominent in the old man Logan story. Mike Pence got him, huh? <laughs> Y'all saw that meme. I'm not going. <laughs> Y'all saw I'm that not going to say yes. I'm not going to say no. All I'm saying is, in 2000, we saw Mike Pence turn into water. And, no. Uh, <laughs> Um, no, it's, uh, it's a lot of nods to the comics. So I think a lot of, uh, the nuances in the story were meant to not necessarily advance Logan's story because you could do without him in this, Mm -hmm. but they're meant to appease the comic fans who again are going to have the same reaction of this is an old man, Logan, where's old Hulk, where's Red Skull, Dr. Doom ain't in the sun, you know, and it doesn't take away from the story. Once you can separate that, dude, I had a, I had a really good time watching this. I'm just like, yo, this is, damn, this is bleak. But it's good. But it's dark. But it's good. But I kind of want to cry. <laughs> but it's still good. And it's Wolverine. This dude's just old now. You know, life's beating down on him. It's rough. It's raw. It's, he's had a he's had a tough go of it the last few years. Mm. And it doesn't shy away from. He's just this angry, grizzled, bitter old man. But he's responsible. He's got things he has to do. Okay, there's one thing I gotta know, though. Yes. Does he ever use the line, I'm too old for this shit in this movie? He does <laughs> not. <laughs> okay, good. Oh, okay, good, because oh. now I'm gonna go see it. Because that is such oh, a tired God. trope. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, so the next Wolverine, it'll be, it'll, be, it'll be Logan 2 starring Danny Glover. Um, no, it's just like, with the weapon 16. <laughs> It's just <laughs> in those responsibilities that he has to handle is where the story plays itself out because there's a lot of mysterious characters who kind of pop up here and there and we don't get to know who they are until like the very end of the movie. So it's one of those that keeps you in suspense and everything's um, everything's playing out like the man with no name stories starring a. Uh, um, uh, Clint Eastwood. I got you. You know, mm-hmm. it's a western. We know the one guy, and we don't know why all these people are interacting with him. Why the hell is he working out? You working with Caliban? We don't know until you know about midway through the movie. Professor X is in this movie. Mm-hmm. Uh, wasn't really in the trailers. He's in the movie, and he's not the same Professor X we knew. Mm-hmm. He uh, is, yeah, which X are we talking about? Uh, we're talking about Professor X, Charles Xavier. And he's Charles Xavier, played by a very too old for this shit, uh, Patrick Stewart. Patrick Stewart. Yeah. The yeah. Professor X. Yes. The, the Professor, Professor X. X. Yes. Uh, he's not in Captain Picard form, I'll tell you that much. Uh. But it plays into the story, too, why he's not like that. And that was very interesting. But you got to pay attention to the dialogue. That's one thing I actually uh, found out in discussions afterwards. I heard it, but I wasn't listening the first time. I was just waiting for somebody to get cut. And then eventually they did. <laughs> but the dialogue, too, is very important. It's um, like, yeah, yeah, just jump to an eye. There he goes. I'm just mud. saying, yo, get that middle claw through someone's temple already, you know? <laughs> uh, when the claws finally come out, this movie got raw. They used that R rating to its fullest. Um, this wasn't, uh, they shy away, they pull punches. This, I, I think, I think actually it exploited the R rating. And just, You talking like Tarantino blood? I'm talking Tarantino blood. Ooh. I'm talking Tarantino blood unnecessarily. Like, in that's, this scene, that's like, that's kind of blood. Yeah, I'm, 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 like, I'm like, yo, they're dead. What are you doing? Let it go. You don't walk away. <laughs> it's like Tarantino. You cut a head off. The, it just sprays like a freaking oasis of blood that just goes to the sky. <laughs> Man, uh, just like the gore in, yeah. in, in, in some part of this was uncalled for. Um, <laughs> are we getting I, like borderline Passion of the Christ blood? Okay, no. Pace yourself. Okay, it's, <laughs> it's, it's still a comic movie. <laughs> just, yeah. But yeah, um, we, we have Tarantino and then we have Passion of the Christ. That's uh, well, like, okay, well, that's I, the I, Holy I, Grail. Yeah, yeah, I, 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 I just want to emphasize that. <laughs> that a lot of the beef folks had with um, with the Wolverine mm-hmm. and Wolverine Origins and I mean, uh, plenty of stuff to be pissed off of Wolverine Origins. But the Wolverine was this is a Wolverine story, but they didn't feel it was as you know raw and violent and you know hardcore yep. slasher esque yep. as it should have been. Um, this movie was like we we were listening, and we've we've made amends. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, dang, I guess um, it was raw. There was slashers. There was slashing. Uh, highly worth watching. Okay, this movie is, is a thumbs up all the way. Uh, also, it ends on some really touching notes. Oh, I have to call out uh, Laura, 
the X-23's uh, name in the movie. The, I forget the actress's name, but she, I really hope, goes places because there's a lot of emotional scenes uh, with this little girl. And she acted far beyond, you would think, far beyond someone of her age range. Mm -hmm. Like, there, there, there's scenes that I imagine people say after Linda Blair did um, The Exorcist, you can't ask the child to do those lines and oh, stuff, you know, uh, and probably messed her up afterwards. There's like those level of emotion scenes. Daphne Keene. Daphne Keene. Thank you. Um, I really hope she goes places because she gave a solid performance, an incredible performance. Uh, not my favorite from Patrick Stewart, but I think it was because that's probably not my favorite role from Patrick Stewart. Gotcha. But the old man Logan story is a gritty one. It has like, you know, incest, uh, uh, um, totalitarian totalitarianism. Um, just you know, a, a voracious cannibalism, you know, all types oh, of raw geez. stuff. And you think, I wanted to get it on screen. You're not going to get that on screen. But you still get a solid story. You still get a solid Western, a road movie. Mm -hmm. And, dude, Eric LaSalle. Do you remember Eric LaSalle? Yeah. Yep. To anyone who doesn't know Eric LaSalle, if you, didn't watch, from, on, was it, if you didn't watch him on ER? Great, yeah, one of those. ER, Grey's Anatomy. ER, yeah, it was ER. He was a black dude on ER. You may remember him from coming to America as the ah, prince of... So cool. <laughs> else you heard... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Eric LaSalle, we have not seen for a long time. No Jerry Curl in this one, but no he Jerry makes an appearance. Uh, Eric LaSalle and Elise Neal. Actor, actors we Ooh, haven't seen Elise in a long Neal. time. Elise Neal. Yeah, they have, great, they have some Jeez. poignant roles in this. Um, wow. I, do, I, did, I did have to call out Elise Neal, but we don't get a shot of the butt, man. Mm -hmm. Dag on shame. But either way, regardless, <laughs> I still highly recommend Logan. Like, <laughs> highly recommend uh, anyone who's a comic fan, check it out. If you're not a comic fan, it's still a good movie, but suspend your disbelief on some things because you with the it's 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 mutants. Mm. You know, so they're gonna do some outlandish stuff. It's still a damn good story. Right. Um, so would you give it a thumbs up? Definitely thumbs up. All right. All right. Now, Jay, I'm gonna give you a solid 